body image or self image. Yeah. Those kind of thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the way that the whole world was was set up, as we said, all time and space was set up as kind of a an identity substitution. Like it's like a mask is set up, and the mask is very shaky. No matter how anyone tries to convince themselves or anyone else that, that they're confident in their body image or confident in their world or confident in the state of the world or whatever, it's it's a shaky mask that has has very, very shaky underpinnings even the deeper you go down when you start to like let the mask fall and um, Jesus says in the Course that it's like everyone is, is kind of like making, almost like making a list, counting the, all the pros and the good things in their life to offset these negative feelings around many things. The body, intelligence, and all kinds of different things. So it's like everyone makes a list of the pros to try to offset the cons. And the whole spiritual journey is, is getting down more and more to the point where you have to start to see that the, pretty much the irrelevance of this, this mask, you know, regardless of how the mask is, or how the mask was built, or whatever, you start to get down to some of those underpinnings, and realizing it takes a lot of mind energy to hold this mask up, to hold this presentation to the world, in terms of a certain way. And uh, I touched on it briefly when we watched that movie, The um, uh, Butterfly Effect, about not trying to change the world. And I was say, asking everybody, has anyone had any thoughts of, of losing weight? Which is, which is kind of an overt example of trying to change the form, or gaining weight even, if, if the mind is convinced it's, the body is too thin to gain weight, to lose weight, or whatever. Those are just all tricks of the ego, kind of like saying, well, if I could just change this thing or that thing, I know I would, it would be much better. You know, I would feel much better about myself if I weighed this much, or it's where people come up with concepts like ideal weight. What's your ideal weight, and then what are you supposed to do? Spend your time watching calories and dipping, you know, like an airplane is flying and flying off course and constantly hoping to try to correct and hit that that ideal, and um, it's really just, it seems like an endless pursuit, you know, to try to put energy and thought in that way, but the ego is, is a genius at trying to keep the mind distracted away from going in. It, is, it can be a huge, huge distraction. Mm -hmm. And it's the, the guilt, you know, when it comes to food as well, you know, the guilt that comes with eating all the bad food, for example. Uh, just a huge distraction. Yeah. And therefore, uh, putting on weight, and yeah, therefore feeling bad again when the pants not fit, and <coughs> just huge distraction. Yep, yeah, I was at the London conference, and I was in the, the speaker's room, this blue room, and uh, they'd bring us a meal, and then they'd bring us a tray of, of uh, teas, and and then cookies, and then my friend who was going to be a speaker, apparently she's really watching, watching, watching weight and calories because she, she looked down and I took a stack of three chocolate chip cookies, <laughs> as I often do, and, <laughs> and she just looked and she went, she looked at the tray and she said, I'm going to do it. She looked around at all the other speakers and she says, I don't ever eat chocolate chip cookies, almost like that was on her no no eat list, and she said, I'm going to take it. She reached down and she took, they were only like this big, they were, these were like little chocolate chip cookies, and she took one, she said, I'm going to have a chocolate chip cookie, almost like I'm breaking the pattern. So there had to be something underneath it, but how the mind can get so rigid with itself, down to taking the cookie and eating it or not, you know, based on everything, and actually Noelle has, we were talking about it when we were in there. Noel has a whole philosophy 
about how body weight has absolutely, positively no connection to food intake whatsoever, and then what am I hungering for? I mean, that was literally starting off with food, weight, and body concept images, and then taking it, taking the dive down, 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 deep into what is this thing that's unquenched, you know, that, that I really am deeping, deeply desiring. And, and so it's beautiful. And some people do it with terminal illnesses, or, you know, there's, there's so many different ways where you can, where you notice a sense of unfulfillment, fulfillment and a sense of a yearning and quest, and then you just authentically and honestly start to question what is it that I'm really after, and that takes you right into this journey. What do I really want? Yeah.